Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the potential stage. I am Asal Romanelli. I am Galit Romanelli. And today we're going to be answering a question from one of our followers. Yes. So we received a question. Thanks very much, by the way. Um, about what do you do when your partner isn't interested in engaging, doesn't want to partake? In this particular instance, the example was, you know, her partner doesn't want to watch the videos. These these videos kind of let alone have the conversations. So what do you do then? So we are going to use this concept called the spiral of wanting, which we will link down here. And basically, the basic idea is we need to differentiate between the external behavioral want from our partner, which is usually conscious, and we have the internal need, which is less conscious usually. And by using this model, we can, we can help, first of all, clarify for ourselves what's the internal need and help our partner be open to hearing it and for both of us to discover how to fulfill that need. So the first level of the spiral of wanting is expecting. I'm basically not verbalizing to my partner, I'm just expecting because I have this core belief that if my partner loved me, he or she would know that or do that. Yeah, and I would say usually the expecting phase is like a very particular behavior. Yes, it's, it's connected to my external want. After that's not being fulfilled because my partner cannot mind read me and they don't know exactly what I want, I move into demanding. I get sick and tired of it and then I move between either retreating or attacking. Being insulted, ultimatums, threatenings, etc. Like that. Most of the time that doesn't work and even if it does work, it's probably not going to fulfill my internal need because I don't even know what it is. The next level above that is asking. I'm asking specifically and I'm verbalizing my external want. Oftentimes it will work, but sometimes if it does work and they do fulfill it, I'm not, I'm not always sure if they know or if I even know what's the internal need. And I might be left with the question of, did they do it because I asked to or did they do it because they want to? Mm -hmm. And that brings us to the last level, which requires some sort of introspection and time with myself is to clarify for myself, what's my internal need? Period. Not just from you in this specific behavior. What's internal right. need? And to find a way to share that with my partner and not accusatory. Right. We're not demanding them or putting it on them. This is my need. Right. Period. Right. So that's the spiral of wanting. And we, we kind of got to this concept and this example reminded me of a situation that we had in our marriage where um, Asael completed his doctorate and then he expected me to, to read it. And when he when, when I didn't, he kind of would, at first, it kind of started with kind of like demands and, and some jabs and like, you know, oh, you're not interested, you haven't read it. And then it moved into kind of the asking phase where he, you know, would you read my doctorate? Here, here is my doctorate for you to read kind of thing. And then eventually we moved into the sharing phase where I said, shared with me that by me not reading it, he was feeling like I wasn't interested, I wasn't celebrating, I wasn't acknowledging his achievements. Because my internal need was I would need to be seen and celebrated. Right. But that conversation essentially led us to have kind of the, the broader conversation of the places where, um, where I do acknowledge where I am, you know, very interested in the work that he does and I, and I am willing to take part and, and, and all the places that, that I do, do fulfill, my fulfill need. those needs, but, but, but it wasn't in that one particular yes. behavior of reading the doctorate, which by the way, I still haven't done. And it's not because I don't see him or celebrate him or take an interest. It's just because that is a limitation of mine for whatever reason. And I think that that is also something that's important to kind of surface and acknowledge is that we and our partners all have limitations. It's, I think it's, unrealistic to think that all our needs and wants will be met from one singular person. Right. And Terry Real talks about this concept of kind of embracing what you have in the relationship, grieving what you aren't getting in the relationship, and then being able to kind of celebrate the relationship itself and move on. So kind of looking at what you are getting versus what you're not getting, doing the work with yourself, if, if, if you're cool with that, if that's okay with you, and then being able to celebrate it for what it is. So if we're going back to the bottom line is clarify for yourself what's the internal need. Find this place to share with your partner in a non-accusatory way. Then there's two things can happen. First thing, they might not want to share or not be able to fulfill that need. And then either have that tough conversation or, like Elite said, accept it, accept that's part of the, the limitations of this relationships and move on. The other option is you might find together there's this need is actually being fulfilled in different ways. And yeah, that can be they may discussed. surprise you in all the ways that they are fulfilling the need. And maybe you actually needed to kind of expand 
you know, expand the expect, expand the expectation from those particular behaviors. And how is this relevant? Because in Corona time, Corona, um, you don't have time. You're in a pressure cooker and you're, you don't have time to actually realize with yourself to kind of find with yourself what is the internal need. Right. So you're actually always, you know, firefighting and kind of accusing and going between external wants. Right. So you need and to also, I think the needs might be kind of new to you because this is such a, a new situation. Right. Instead of kind of having expectations, just sharing where you are at the moment and what will help you get through this will allow for kind of a more, a kind of broader space for your partner to fulfill those needs without confining them to a very specific behavior. So it's like switching from like, you never or you should or I need you to saying, I have a need for. Yeah. And bring in a non-accusatory space and have both of, have this conversation open. You'll need space and time for that. A, for yourself to find out what the internal need is and be time together, perhaps after bedtime. You guys can both have that space to actually hear the needs and be open to think together creatively. How can that need be fulfilled or not? Yeah. yeah. So send us more questions. We'd love to develop more content and kind of be relevant for you guys. That was Glee Romanelli. This is Dr. Estelle Romanelli. And we are The, the Potential, Potential State. State. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.